So now it's time to create some plates in the scene uh, and we're going to do that by uh, going to this layer using the workflow. Um, we're enabling this panel and looking for a cool background image. And I discovered that this plate is something I really liked. Uh, and we're starting by creating a plane to design that. So giving the value of 90 and scale that up. So we have something looking nice. Uh, we're already on the top view. So what I will do is go to another view, uh, plane. Uh, and now we go to top. Yes, there we go. Uh, yeah, problem with this is we're designing it from the bottom. So I was a little bit confused. So I think the way to start is here. Yes. And in my opinion, oh, a play is like you have something there on the ground. Then it's getting straight up like this. So not that much. A little bit more. And then it's already pretty good. Very nice rounded edges is very important for a plate. Like this. And then we go to the inside part. So we stream it another time. And there we go. And we can always change it if we are not happy just by doing some simple tweakings. But I think it's, yeah, what we can do is adding a subdivision surface. Oh, this also looks like a funny play. Let's really practice. So there we go. Uh, holding shift. That's a bit too close. There we go, shift. I think it's good. Same for this one. Uh, well, this is good. And one more time. Last time. Good. And smooth the plate. So it's looking really small. Maybe we can size this a bit. Maybe less. Um, and important for this one is of course also the yeah this arrow uh the material and we're enabling a white material or maybe a little bit of color just a little bit making that um glossy 0.8 but uh try to experiment with it so there's maybe a, a better uh, value uh, what do you think that looks nicer? In case of this, I think it's good. Uh, so I'm pressing Alt G, maybe rotating it a bit one more time. I like this kind of variation. And I did something funny like putting this Russian chicken meme below there. So I'm going to dab one. <laughs> and adding a UV sphere. Size this. Remove the bottom of it. Uh, no, <laughs> courtesy. And drag it right there. And if we look closer, there's something on top of it. So uh, maybe we have no. I don't have it. What I will do is uh, creating another UV sphere. UV sphere mesh. Oh no, mesh UV sphere. Scale that. And what should I do? Um, just go wild. I don't really have a plan. I think this looks good. Pretty nice. And scale it a bit up. So you can grab it and uh, yeah, put it upwards. Make that smooth. And give that a 100% glossiness. Uh, no, no modifier. Uh, glossy. And new. Glossy. 
So we have something that looks like this. Maybe we can lower that a bit more. So a bit smaller. And we can drag that to layer number one. So and this the reason I created it is to give an idea what kind of space it is. So there is a uh, a nice reflection so you have an idea this is not only uh, a close view of this kitchen there's way more behind it so but there isn't of course oh, that's what I like so we bring it upwards and we're dragging this to a nice position and where did I put the other one over there yes even when we have the same reflection doesn't matter one two three uh, yeah you can press all the nothing will happen and lower that one so we have two chickens in the room uh, like don't make that perfect straight because I think they don't look perfect when I, we apply it oh, that's what we can do Mm, I guess apply it. Oh, yeah, of course. View, object, and data. We can apply it because we uh, did shift D. And make that a little bit. The blade isn't that perfectly straight. Oh, come on. No. Oh, well. It's okay. So we go to the world settings, environment texture, open, and we have this one. And make that mirrored ball. Make that 0.7 and save all work. And if we go here, do we have more plates in the scene? Yeah, we can just grab one, pressing Shift D. So just to doesn't make this really empty. Like we drag this, so <laughs> rotate it a little bit. Whoa! And we get crazy. I was flying in the air. Well, never mind. Uh, yeah, let's try a render. So let's take some time. Yeah, save again, and hit render. See what happened. So you can already see these nice reflections and. I'm a bit curious about this one because sometimes it's acting really weird but I think it's getting pretty well um, yeah all right it's not the final final result of course we are going to do some more tweaks but for now I think it's good the next part we're gonna create some bottles of wines and olive oil so stay tuned to see you in the next part